joins us live from the Bayview area right now. Patrick, so many homes are still in danger of going up in flames. What are you seeing out there? Well, Claire, it's been a difficult couple of days here for the folks in the Bayview community as tonight the Cape Horn fire continues to burn out of control. Earlier this evening, I actually had a chance to go out on a boat on Lake Ponderay with a man who's lived in the area here for 15 years to get a firsthand look at all of the damage. We thought we were going to wake up and it was just going to be black char. It's not uh, as bad as we thought. It's still a beautiful place. Last night, Ben Broyles and his wife watched the Cape Horn fire light up the hillside outside of their home in Bayview. Firefighters did their best to save homes, even using water cannons mounted on boats. Today, out on Ben's boat, we're getting a look at the damage for the very first time. Homes that were surrounded by flames on Sunday are now gone. Well, homes nearby remain untouched. In total, eight different buildings, including six homes, were lost. And all day, planes and helicopters have been dropping water and retardant on the fire, hoping to keep it from spreading to the other 300 Bayview homes that are still threatened. Unfortunately, though, not all of those homes could be saved. I just feel sorry for the people. It's, it's devastating. The loss is just, it's gone. It's horrible. Right now, the fire has burned 2,000 acres. There are still evacuations in place, and the governor has signed a disaster declaration allowing federal funds to now help fight this fire. Well, I talked to fire officials just a short time ago, and they tell me that actually they're hoping to make good progress not only tonight throughout the evening, but also into tomorrow. But as of right now, the Cape Horn fire here in Bayview remains at 0% containment. Reporting live in Athol tonight, Patrick Erickson, KHQ Local News. Patrick, thanks. And the Red Cross has